Hey everybody, Scott here for Scott's Digital Guitar Playground. He looks sleeping. The G300 is leaned up against a wall. The G200 is, ooh, just sitting there. Like it knows something. Anyway, today I'm going to uh, start work on a brand new pedal board for a new project pedal board uh, that's virtually all analog. I know, call me crazy. It kind of goes against the whole digital uh, guitar playground thing. There is one digital reverb in it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Does that count? All right, here are all of my new pedal board supplies. Oh, good stuff. Same old handles I had on the last one. Same feet. The biggest rubber feet you have ever seen in your life. And to get these rubber feet in there, I know these are these are not wood screws, but if I drill pilot holes, it won't matter. They will be just fine. Uh, the threads are pretty robust for uh, for metal screws. And the uh, same material as the last time I'm gonna use the uh, but this time I'm not gonna wrap the corners I've done something different this time I've got I went to uh, uh, where'd I go Home Depot and got some uh, it's three-quarter inch uh, aluminum I guess railing I don't know what you'd call it but uh, I already ripped off the sticker but I uh, measured these it's 12 inches and the board is gonna be the biggest one I've ever made 36 inches long. You'll see why when the uh, stuff shows up that's going to go on it. Because I don't have the stuff to go on it right now. And it's not going to be a Helix on it. There's not going to be a more GE300 on it. There's not going to be a TC uh, Nova system on it. Or a G system. This is something completely new. Uh, so these, in place of the... Uh, now this is... I painted the bottom. Because I want, when I flip it over, you know, uh, you know, uh, the covering is going to go on the top. And then it's going to staple on the back. So, the back is painted just to yeah, make it classy. Now, this stuff is going to sit like so. And it just makes for a really cool look, I think. Having the, uh, the, the railing on here. And... I will probably screw it in from the bottom and not the sides because I don't want to mess up the look of the sides. And uh, so the the material is going to wrap around and not over the corners. So I'm going to have to use some of the uh, 3M adhesive on the sides to make the to make it nice and tight. So anyway, uh, this is just phase one. I'm going to cut the material first. And actually, no. First thing, I'm gonna put the uh, rails on, and then, uh, yeah, then then wrap it. Oh, stay tuned. There you go, everybody. Good time, pedal board fun. Uh, sorry, I'm not getting super uh, graphically into the whole thing and just showing you what I've done. It's just you know, I've done a bunch of pedal board videos in the past. You can go look at them to see exactly how things happen. It's really super simple. Uh, you know, the fabric, what I do is I put some of that 3M stuff, that uh, sticky 3M, the real hard, heavy-duty shit in the can, on the back of this material, lay it flat, then lay this on it, and then stand on it for a little bit. And this makes it nice and tight. Uh, and then on the back, all I do, and I really need to do some goo gonning of this one. Oh, we'll see. I might just leave it like that. Who gives a shit? Uh, is hold the fabric tight, staple it down. And then screw in the, uh, the big rubber feet. That's all there is to it. Uh, the last bit will be the handle. After, you know, then there's the installation of all the pedals and all that. You know, nonsense. I've got the pedal board kit here from Lava Cable. The tightrope solder free kit. And when I saw this in the mail earlier, it says 10 right angle plugs. I was like, no, I wanted the one with 20 plugs. Uh, they added 20. They added 10 more plugs to it. So... I thought I was losing my mind because I swore I ordered the one with 20 plugs. So now I'm good to go with that. Uh, you strip these things back. There's a little tool in here for doing that whole process. 
and the cable is very it's interesting it's it, it'll stay where you bend it it's kind of it's not like george l's cable where it's you know the jacket has its own memory this stuff you do that it stays like that you do that it does stays like that you know it's interesting that way and it'll really make for a uh uh, a slick looking pedal board because you can just bend it in, at angles and then run it straight like you know like you would like uh, say a plumber with copper pipe huh <laughs> cool so I'll be back tomorrow with more of this I'm busy working on songs for a fill-in gig with this prog keyboard guy so it's test testing my brain hardcore right now and uh, I'm gonna rehearsal tomorrow so I'm gonna be busy working on that stuff and then Pedalboard things in between throughout the rest of the week. Maybe some Helix stuff. We'll see. So, I will see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.